Uh, what do we have? Uh, this thing's almost broken. Actually, you know what? Throw out the twig. Huh. No, yeet. There we go. Take a Boku Club. So we can actually break these pots and probably find something in them. Arrows. This is just like a little tiny callback. There's like no pots in the rest of the game, but there's some here. Traveler's bow, not a bad bow. And my inventory's full. Okay. Uh, we have some bad bows in here, don't we? Yeah. Nope. Uh, I don't recall how to drop stuff. I think you have to do it from the inventory if it's a uh, if it's a bow. Yeah, drop. Okay. Just so I can get a slightly higher powered one, and so this treasure chest isn't sitting here full. Yeah, it's not a paragraph, dude. You're good. Also, I guess my, like, game audio a little low. Is it? Uh, it's the same uh, same amount I keep the uh, Splatoon at whenever I stream it, and it sounds good. But uh, this game is also a very quiet game. I can increase it a tiny bit, just to make sure. but I don't want to increase it too much, you know? Okay. All right, so make sure we don't choose heart container here. We're doing stamina vessels. I think we'll be able to grind up enough money, especially because I've been picking up quite a few rare items. So I think we'll be good for money, at least. Yeah, I got a good one-fifth of that stamina meter. All right, let's go. That's uh, going to be good for running away from enemies, that's for sure. Yeah, I believe you could just skip that and just cr climb straight to the top. The Splatoon is much, much louder, too. Got to consider that. I believe you can just climb straight to the top off the bat and not have to... Uh, talk to that person. Also, there's a ladder right here. I did not know that. That'll make it a little quicker. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> the original time I was playing through, this was at the point where I didn't know you could just climb stuff all willy-nilly. So I was going around forever trying to find a path I could climb up. And then I saw some vines and I was like, oh, maybe we can climb these vines. And of course I went on it. And of course you can climb it because you can climb anything. So I was like, okay, so... I can only climb vines, but like, no. Took me a little longer to find out I could climb whatever I want. The game doesn't really ever tell you out that outright. It's weird. Also, here's a good point for y'all to tell if it's a good volume right now, since he's talking. It's your boy King Rome. The great calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path, Rome, a century ago. It was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you. A little quiet, okay. Uh, I think that might be a little better. Transformation into malice created the horror you see. Yeah, I think that's a little better. Stories of Ganon's were passed from generation. But yeah, this is like the loudest point in, in like the entire game, other than when you're getting shot in the face with a giant beam from a guardian. So this part should probably be like readily, easily hearable for you. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Should be a lot better. It 
wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the divine beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the goblin, an army of machines. Remember when all of this was super, super weird? as a concept to us, and now it's like, yeah, guardians are normal, giant beasts. That's the, that's the basic stuff. I remember watching this, like, my original playthrough. This is gonna, I'm, we're gonna come to our original playthrough a lot here, and by the way, if you didn't notice. Um, and I was like, all this stuff is super crazy and I don't understand a bit. Now it's like, yeah, basic Zelda lore, you know? It's like the original games are weird now, after playing Breath of the Wild. It's a concept. Princess is their commander. We dubbed these pilots champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay, Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagination. Princess survived to face Ganon alone. You, you are our final hope. The chat is unanimous. Everyone has seen the B movie. Knight who protected her right up to the very end. That knight was none other than you, Jin. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself, and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. Save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control of. Yo, is it me, or does King Rowan look? Or it's, it's Rowan. It's just Rowan, I think. Does he not look a lot like he could be a character from Xenoblade Two? His, like, looking at his eyes, it looked very similar. Of course, he has small, like, normaler eyes than Xenoblade 2, but, like, at that moment, it was like, it's close. Also, I literally went and got myself an iced coffee while I, while this cutscene was playing out, if you were wondering. No, we're looking tight, not gonna lie. I, I want to, like, try and find some cool gear, like, just to look nice, you know? 
Find a bunch of green items, green, red, something, I don't know, pink, maybe. Dye my gear a cool color. And just be chillin', you know? Anyway, we finally got the paraglider. Of course, it allows you to fly around uh, using your stamina as a meter to fly. So, we, this should be a, a lot more normal feeling. Like, not having the paraglider, I've, I've noticed I've had to physically say, like, just force myself not to jump off ledges and try to fly. <laughs> It's like, it's, it's literally like you just try to do it now. Also, that is not flying. We are getting that right now. So at this point, what am I trying to do here? There we go. Uh, at this point, we're kind of free to go wherever we want. I'm going to drop both of these because we're not going to need them for a very long time. At this point, we can kind of go wherever we want. We, of course, are going to go to Kakariko Village because we want to progress the story a bit before uh, going out of our way to, like, get things. How do you put this away? Oh! Jeez. Okay. You can just press, like, A to drop it, right? You can press X. Okay. So. Oh, Stalfos. How? Okay, they still only take two hits. Good. Also, there goes my club. There goes my HP as well. Let's use this one that's almost broken. Yeah, we might as well pick up all these things that they're dropping, because why not? Uh, they can drop Bokoblin stuff, because they are Bokoblin skeletons. They can also drop arms, which are weapons. They're not horrible weapons, either. They're just... They have, like, no... Uh, they have no power, so, like, they're gonna break in a few uses. Also, I see myself a fish. Those are frogs. Not fish. Okay. Yeah, I think Christmas colors would actually be a great idea. I think you're on to something there. Okay. So, I am going to go ahead and put a... goalpost out here. Oh, I think it shows either way, maybe? Anyway, we're going to work towards it. Yeah, it shows it on the map, which is really what we want. Um... These guys are asleep, so I'm going to go ahead and raid their camp because there's no reason for me not to. Uh, they might have a couple of weapons, plus monster items, always useful. Happy face. Go to Hyrule Castle first? Yeah, how about we not? <laughs> Once again, for the people who haven't played this game, you can go straight to the end. You don't have to do any of the main missions. No, I'm doing all the main missions. Once again, it's why I made the choice to do all the main missions, because I didn't want to go straight to Hyrule Castle and then be done with it, because I feel like it wouldn't be like a real three-heart run-through at that point. Also, it's morning, so we got to knock these boys out quick. It's only 3.30 a.m. I think they wake up at 6, though. It gets light early here, and it gets dark at, like, 9. That's really weird. Seared steak. I guess we haven't had that before. Uh, we can sh I didn't want to use my claymore on that. Okay. Uh, we can try to raid this little camp over here. It's a little stronger than what we've dealt with, but I think we can do it just fine, maybe. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually equip the the scout style shot boko boke style bloke. What is it? I think it's just called the skeleton arm. I'm gonna equip that for fighting. I don't think this guy's gonna notice us real quick. Uh Go ahead and wake him up all at once. Oh. Please. Okay, we're missing. Uh, we're running. We're running. We're running. Because they're all... Oh! Looks like I got it. <laughs> uh, we probably could fight them without too bad of consequences. In fact, you know what? Bring it on. Did you just pick up a rock and throw it at us? Yeah, as you can see, the skeleton arms do not last very long. So we're just going to start bopping on these boys. Hoop! Also, my thing's on fire now, which is going to give us an advantage. That's a black bokoblin! Oh my god. Alright. Uh... <laughs> I want to take his weapon. We can get him from a distance, which is an advantage with the spear.
There we go. This might be our first Black Bokoblin takeout. There we go. Pick up his weapon. Spiked Boko Club, and it's on fire, except it's not anymore. That'll be really good. I believe he can still knock us out in one hit. Because he's a back bo black Bokoblin. We were close. That makes four deaths, I believe, sadly. Yeah, no, no, we're not doing things in that order. Yeah, that's four deaths. So, didn't go too well. Just take a sip of my iced coffee and get back to it. Yeesh. I did not know there was a black Bokoblin. I should have known, because I knew there was a blue Bokoblin in there in the original game, so uh, I don't know what I was doing. I was being weird. Um, if I'm correct, I believe a bomb arrow should immediately knock this guy out. That's, of course, going to wake up all the dudes in there. They're already awake, though, so who cares? Boop. Okay, he's alive. All right. I do want to successfully storm this place, though. That'd be fun. Uh, let's go ahead. Use a fire arrow to blow up the things in there. Ugh. How is that not a headshot? There we go. Go. Nope, stop that. You want to you wanna mess with this? You want to mess with this? Yeah, I think you're so tough, you black boy. Get out of here. Easy, that thing's gonna hit me. Oh, okay, didn't. Now we have the Spiked Boko Club, and we knocked him out. All right, now I just need to deal with this guy. He just has a bow, so... I'm thinking it might not be the hardest feat. Okay, he just shot us point blank. Rude, but we're still taking care of you. I pressed that in the wrong order. Boop, double damage. Okay. By the way, uh, if you didn't know, weapons automatically crit when you get the finishing blow on them. So that's why it's like doing the giant blue explosion whenever a weapon breaks. That means you get a crit. So was this item worth it? It was, uh, I mean, sure, fire arrows. We used, like, five <laughs> bomb arrows. But you know what? what? <clears throat> oh, you know what? It's fine. Also, looks like we're going to be picking up all the arrows this dude shot at us. So that's not a bad deal. Actually, I didn't even know this guy died. So that's going to give us even more arrows. You know what? I think it was worth it. We have a ton of arrows now. So now we can finally make our way out of the Great Plateau probably look for a couple of shrines on the way to our goal. Uh, we do want to get most of the towers as well, because we, once again, are doing all main missions, which includes getting all the memories, and being able to see everything on a map is going to be useful. There's that black Lionel. Don't like that one bit. Goodbye, good friend. Also, we can pick up all this. Yes. I hate that it comes up with a description every time you take it out of a of a guardian. Would have been nice if it was just like, hey, you got it. Hey, you got it. Uh, yes, this one had some eggs. Good. Thought I was remembering that correctly. So we have eggs. You can make omelets with these. Omelets and crepes. I believe what it makes depends on what you're making. So if you use meat, you're going to make an omelet if you make... I believe if you use a fruit, it'll make a crepe. Anyway, that's the lake. Okay. In fact, we are looking the direct wrong direction here. I do want to make my way towards Kakariko, if at all possible. Hopefully these guardians don't see me, but now that we have a bow, guardians aren't nearly as scary. Especially the ones that don't move. Because bows are practically their weakness. All things considered. Is this guy alive? He is. Okay, so check this out. Boom. Boom. Look at me. Look at me. Boom. I'm not even gonna bother. 
That's way too many arrows that I'm willing, that I'm willing to use. So, Hyrule Kingdom, we're officially off the Great Plateau. Looky there. A huge step forward in our adventure. And it's going to show a lot whenever we uh, start seeing enemies here. But now that we have weapons, I do feel like I'm safe enough to start fighting like blue Bokoblins without like doing some convoluted scheme to knock them out. So that's a plus. Especially with this spiked Boko Club, that's going to be a uh, good use as well. Amber, not bad. Once again, I need to start grinding money. Uh, this is the point where you can start getting money, like rupees and stuff. Because on the Great Plateau, fun fact, you can't find rupees. Which is an odd choice. There, I know there's a... There's going to be a ko Korok. Yeah, there's a Korok in here. So I'm going to go ahead and get that while we're on our way here. Because I do want to expand my weapon inventory. That'll be very nice indeed. All right, let's see here. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. When I first saw the flower method of getting Koroks, it was one of the later methods I found. Like, you can go through this game without figuring out one of the ways to find Koroks, such as, you know, putting a rock in a circle or jumping into a circle of lily pads, stuff like that. You can go a good portion of the game without realizing that those things were make a Korok appear. And it was actually my brother that figured out that you could, uh, is that a fox? That you could go on these flowers in order, which I is probably one of the more obvious things. All right, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be uploading this to YouTube just so I have a lot of stuff to upload over the upcoming break. But yeah, see you then. Uh, I'll be, it probably won't be too hard to keep track of my own deaths from this point on then. Uh, because uh, we haven't been dying too quickly. If I die like 20 times in a row from something, then it'll be like, uh, I don't know how we're going with this, but you know. There's also going to be a stone talus somewhere up here, and there's no way we're going to be able to take it on. It can one-shot us easily, because it can one-shot you in normal mode. So, I think he's like over there somewhere. Or something, but I don't rightly know. Oh, uh, this is a good spot to look for. Yeah, some of these. These boyos. Uh, the tower's over there. I should mark that as well. There's something around me. Oh, it's just a chew. Jeez. That scared the heck out of me. Yeah, most chews have actually been upgraded to uh, big chews. And big chews have been upgraded to even larger chews. What is that? It's an eagle. I don't even want to bother trying to hit that. So, chews have also been upgraded in addition to vocoblins and moblins and whatnot. What have you. Hmm. I believe there should be a... Yes, there's one right here. Let's go ahead and do this. Also, what is that? I believe we want to push, like, a rock into it. Yes. Here we go. Also, if you... You can also use bombs or stasis to move rocks if you so feel like it but pushing is an option as well a more simple option see a galaxy that's another korok seed i don't imagine i don't foresee us getting too many korok seeds because like a eh, just korok seeds also when i originally played this game i thought you wanted to like throw one of these things in to the circle of rocks. That's of course not the case. You want to jump right in there yourself. But like I spent forever trying to get a rock in there. I thought it was supposed to be a reference to a link to the past where you throw a rock into the middle of a well a thing of rocks in the water and you get you get the one of the medallions. I forget which one. I think it might have been the it wasn't the Quake medallion. I think it was the uh the lightning one, whichever one that was, but that was supposed to be a reference. Nope, you jump in those yourself.
surprisingly enough. All right, so this is going to be our first challenge. The wind guides you. Oh, it's this one. This is going to be our first challenge outside of the Great Plateau. So there's actually a secret box that to in this challenge that to this day I do not know how to get to. Uh, like it's out here somewhere way out at the end of this puzzle. But like I spent at least like 30. Well, there you have it. I spent at least like 30 minutes trying to get to that treasure box. I could not do it. And there's no way whatever's in there is going to be important enough to make us try and get that at this point. There's no way. Like at that rate, that'll that'll make us get a game over. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and heal off before we take too much damage. All right. And you could just fly kind of over here. But you see that treasure box over here? No idea how you get that. I keep forgetting that you can't just press B to take away your thing. I thought you could for some reason. But it seems you can't. Yep. Yeah, there's... You can't really get over there to that. I've tried gliding over to it, but you can't reach it. Not really. So, uh, it's a whole situation. Whatever it is, it's not worth it. We're just gonna complete this little challenge. Like the good Link we are. Also, if I'm correct... We're going to need 40 orbs in order to pull the Master Sword because we need 13 hearts. So it means we need 10 extra hearts. Four orbs is a heart. 40 orbs. So I'm going to be keeping track of that in my head uh, through stamina and the orbs we have laying outside in our inventory. Just an important detail that we need to t keep track of because you never know I don't know. I mean, you, you do know that you're going to need... Hey, there's another one of those things. So. Extra strange mask rumors. Oh, that's right. So it's going to start giving us uh, all of the... DLC missions. Interesting. I'm going to pop that and see what it is. Huh. Okay, that was... Uh, Outright miss. Ugh. Oh, it dropped it. Was that like... That was treasure! So they hold treasure up there now. Not just enemies. Also, this is a lot of stuff. Wow. A sledgehammer with long throw. That is a pretty crazy good thing. Also, Merchant Hood. That's the uh, Rabio thing. Also, I believe this is where that funny... Yeah, this is where the funny NPC is. I mean, it's not really funny because it's, you know, a thing, but, like, if you get on the edge of this bridge... Hey, don't be rash. I'm young, but you're even younger. I'm trying my best out here, but I get the feeling you're going to end up trying even harder in this world. It's the feeling I get when I look at your face. But maybe I'm nuts. Now calm down and climb off that rail. And don't climb down that way. Climb down this way. Yeah. He's <laughs> That's just a cute little interaction. Also, that is a actual ton of moblins wow protecting their treasure yeah uh there's another uh guardian thing that way but that's a little ways off so we're gonna head over here straight towards the tower you can't upgrade the dlc armor oh that sucks I wonder if it at least has, like, kind of good stats. I've never used them before. Also, is it starting to rain? It's like a light rain, but rain isn't in the forecast. That's odd. I don't know why that is. Where are we on the map here? Is it because of the elephant dude that makes it rain? I don't know, because I thought it only made it rain over where the Zora place is. Like, rain is not on the forecast, yet it's raining. I don't get it. It's it's just odd. A tiny bit odd. All right, we have a couple of moblins here. Uh, first things first, let's take care of their guard. Let's take care of the guard. 
Look away, please. Thanks. <laughs> As I just snipe them. Oh yeah, this this uh, bow is probably going to be able to... That's a black moblin. Alright, I'm probably just going to loot the guard then. I don't think it's worth my time to quite take that dude on. Yeah, they're way too engrossed in their own little things. Yeah, I'm not going to bother. There's a bunch of things over there. Was that in the orig game originally? Also, hey there. Uh, it's hard to read that name. Super Gamer. How's it going? It's just hard to read the blue name on my iPad when it's a while away. All right. We're just going to make our way across this river. I remember this river. Once again, a whole lot of more black enemies. I know it. Every single blue enemy, black now. And uh, I don't really think I'm ready to take on a black enemy normally. Blues, I think I could take on at this point. Black, nah, we'll wait a little longer for that. Thank you very much. Oh, yeesh. Also, the music is beautiful here. What's that? Oh, that's a goat. Thought it was just a bokoblin just walking around. I, th I feel like I was talking about something. Oh, yeah, the river. I remember back when the game came out. Like, everyone was like, how the heck do you get across this river? Because that dude probably could have bopped me. Because, like, swimming across it normally just wasn't a good way to do it. I don't know. Just a little detail I remember from uh, playing the game through originally. Also, free treasure chest. Have no idea what's in it, but I'll take it. Korok Leaf. I'm surprised we can hold it. Also, we already have one, so... I kind of want to sneak this, uh, sneak up on this guy and blow him off. Uh, here we go. Equip our leaf. Get our leaf. I'm not sure if we'll be able to sneak up this thing without being noticed. Eesh. Oh, can he see me? I think if he could see me, he would have seen me by now. Okay. And I'm sorry, sir, but you have been chosen to go off this cliff. Goodbye. Oh, I did not know this was right next to a camp. Oh my god. Oh my god. I thought this was just a rock. I wasn't looking at it clearly. Yeesh. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a bit dangerous to be doing. Also, they can hear that I'm climbing on them. Or maybe the dude just blew his horn or something. I don't know. Yeah, uh, that was not <laughs> the best of my anything. Getting the sneak armor, yeah. I'll probably buy it. At some, you buy it, right? Or do you find it around? Oh, really? This many? Yeesh, that's blue. Blue, blue, black. Or no, that's two blacks and a blue. Ugh. All right, not going that way. Uh, guess we're going to traverse the, uh, the water. This right. All right. So we just sneak around, try to get to the other side of this thing. Also, that's a fish. Yeah, that's how we're getting this fish. High roll bass. Yeah, it's not bad to stuck up in some fish. They can give you pretty good effects compared to most other meats. And they're in general kind of easier to find than bugs. Like anywhere there's water, there's going to be fish. But, like, bugs are just kind of scattered throughout the world, and unless you know the exact position they're at, it can be hard to find them. Uh, I did turn the game volume up a little bit earlier. I could do it a little more now if it's still quiet for people. That is a straight-up Octorok. Why is he not jumping out? Jeez. Well, we might as well grab that for the balloons. I imagine balloons are going to be quite useful in master mode. Just for silly shenanigans and whatnot. Ooh. Yeah, we're going to have enough stamina. The game audio is quiet. But, like, it's not supposed to be so quiet that you can't hear it at all. You know. So I can turn it up a little bit more if we have to. In fact, I guess I might as well do it. 
Because if it sounds quiet, then it probably is quiet, you know? So that'll, that'll probably be a little better. Like, there's, if you can't hear it, there's a very, very quiet song that you should just barely be able to hear on stream right now. Because it's like ambient, it's ambiance, you know? Also, there's another Octorok balloon held enemy that we don't want to peeve off. Could be dangerous. Okay, I was trying to climb onto the ledge of that, but it was just like, you know what? You're above it. So how do you like that? Jeez. Also, a little known fact. Whenever Link's doing like this, uh, you can see the sweat dropping out of his face. It means you're at a 90 degree angle or more. And that means he's going to be using a slightly larger amount of stamina to climb there. Just a little tidbit I didn't notice until a bit into my little let's play. Or not my let's play, but my playthrough. Much better? Okay, good. Good, good, good. Alright, well, <laughs> it took, took like two hours to get the volume loud enough to where it's enjoyable. But you know what? It's good. It's all good in the hood. Because now it's good. Alright, so this is actually going to give us our second segment of map here. So, lucky us. Also, I believe there's a horse stable somewhere nearby here, so we should be able to get our first horse. Which will be incredibly convenient indeed. Also, wow, that little uh, Sheikah sensor when searching for shrines. That's right! I forgot about that. It'll uh, start going off if you're near a shrine. I completely forgot about that, because it's not that important once you have, like, a lot of the shrines. Cool. Sheikah sensor is now oper operationable. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, there's a shrine nearby. It's, like, probably referring to the one that's through this gap here in the in the rocks. I'm going to personally choose to go around it because it looks like they have quite the lookout here. I mean, look. That's a black dude, I think. Is it? Yeah, that's a... No, that's blue. That's blue. He doesn't have all the tattoos. You can just barely see. Um, yeah. <laughs> that just killed him. He's dead. That dude's done. That's just funny stuff right there. Is that ore? Yeah, that's ore. Okay. Well, since we haven't seen before, this is good as good as any other chance to show it. Uh, if you have a sledgehammer, you can use it to mine ore. Otherwise, it'll use a ton of uh, of uh, weapon usage on your weapon. But uh, the hammers are specifically made to be used on this ore. So. You can use that. Also, I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, my God. All right. Well, I'm going to defeat you with the arms of your defeated brethren, if y'all don't mind. Also, a club. A Boko Bat. It's not quite worth it, because that's pretty weak for a club. But, like, whatever. Uh, here, take the full-on power of our Korok Leaf. Yeah. But it's nice to just see it so you have it on your scene list, you know? These are all just arms. Uh, where's the... right here. He was indeed holding a club. And some arrows. Actually, it's a new... It's a new kind of bow, and it's very, very strong. Uh, yeah, since he was a black dude, it has a lot more power. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can use bombs, too, if you want, but, like, yeah. Either way, they're both just as useful, I'd say. Yeah, we're just going to crawl through here. I know there's a shrine at the end. It's going crazy for that shrine, though. Oh, you know what? I think what it is, there's two shrines near at the top of this, and that's what it's catching. And then there's also a shrine near the end of it as well. It is a little annoying. I might end up turning it off, because I know where most of these shrines are. Most of the shrines that I'm going to have to use anyway, because we don't really have to have too many done to get the Master Sword. 